Hello guys and welcome to this series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to look at NAT and its types. So let's begin. NAT stands for the Network Address Translation which is used to map the private IP address with the public IP addresses and vice versa using the NAT table. These are generally configured in the routers and NAT firewalls. NAT is of three types. The first one is the static NAT then dynamic and finally we have the PAT that is the port address translation. Let's look at them one by one. In static net all the private IP addresses will be mapped with the public IP addresses in the net table. So if there are four different devices present in a private network then we are required to have the four different public IP addresses. Let's try to understand it with an example. Consider we have two devices connected with a router and one of the device wants to communicate with a remote system. So in this case, the device will set its source IP address with the private IP address and destination IP address will be the destination system's IP address. Now, when the data will go to the router, then it will change the source IP address with the public IP address that is statically mapped for that private IP address. And after that, it will be sent to the destination. Once the data come back from the destination, the router will use its NAT table from where the mapping has been done. And using that NAT table, it will revert back data to the original system that initiated the communication. Similarly, if other devices also wants to communicate with some remote system, then router will change its private IP address with some unique public IP address. Remember, this mapping is done statically and total number of public IP addresses that are required should be greater or equal to the total number of devices present in the private network. After that, we have the dynamic net in which the router will have a pool of public IP addresses and these public IP addresses will be mapped with the private IP addresses dynamically. For example, consider the router have two public IP addresses and there are two devices that are connected with the router. Now, when the system will try to communicate with the remote system, then dynamically the router will assign or map one of the public IP with this particular private IP address. So it will change the source IP addresses with some public IP address and send the data to the destination system. Once the data comes back from the destination, it will use its table that is the net table to identify where to revert back the data. Now in dynamic net, the total number of devices that can communicate outside of the private network is equal to the total number of public IP addresses present in the pool. For example, consider you only have two public IP addresses, but there are three different devices connected in your private network. So in that case, at a very given moment, only two devices can interact in the internet the data of one system will get dropped. So in dynamic net also, generally we are required to have the total public IP addresses equals to the total number of private devices or system present in the network. Now the problem with static and dynamic net is that it requires high number of public IP addresses. These public IP addresses are not free and it requires a lot of costing. So to address this issue, we have the PAT that is port address translation, which is also a type of NAT. In port address translation, along with mapping the private IP address with the public one, the source port of the system are also gets translated or simply say gets changed. For example, let's say there are two different devices connected with your home router and there is only single public IP address available. Now, one of the system wants to communicate with the remote system then when it will go to the router then router will change its source IP address with the public IP address and also it will change the source port address. With the combination of the source IP address and the source port the NAT table will be created. Consider that another device also wants to communicate with the same destination then it will create another entry in the NAT table. Now if any data is coming from the destination then router will use its net table to determine to which device the data needs to be revert back. 
Now one question that generally arises is that why we even required to translate the source port address. To understand it, let's take an example in which we are not translating the port address. Consider there are two devices connected to the home router and both of the devices wants to communicate with the same destination system. When first system wants to communicate with the remote system, then it will have one dynamic source port. Now, when it will go to the router, then a net entry will be created. In this particular case, we are assuming that the port addresses are not getting translated. So only the source IP address will be changed with the public IP addresses and will be sent to the destination. Now consider the second device also wants to communicate with the same system and coincidentally it also got the same source port number. Now when the data will go to the router, then only the source IP address will be changed to the public IP address of the router. Again, we are assuming that the port numbers are not getting translated. Now consider when the destination will send data back to the router, then how it will be able to determine to which system it needs to revert back the data since two rows in the net table will have the same entry. In that case, the net will no longer work since the router will not be able to determine which private IP address or which private system the data needs to be sent back. So it is required that the source port address should also get translated. Otherwise, the net or this type of net in which single public IP address is used will get failed, right? So that's all for today guys. I hope you liked the video. If you have any doubt, please comment it down. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.